I hate electricity, I hate electricity. Robots don't need closing time, of course. Work, work, work. I should go and demonstrate or make holiday. Holiday, that's it. Stupid plastic. I will take this meathead to court. Ouch. Welcome back my hustlers and thank you for watching my last video and a special thanks to everybody who left the thumbs up it helps a lot on beginning for a small channel this time we will build the shredder where we shred plastic and we will press a little cylinder and you get a little preview of an aqua graph on a 3d printer and now have fun with the video bye yeah. <laughs> Man. the most important part to build the blender aka shredder uh, we need an uh, asparagus uh, pot, it's tall and not so uh, thick and perfect for the job and an angle grinder. That's the most important part. The little part we need is an uh, adapter, polishing adapter. I turned it on the lathe but you can also maybe filing it away while sitting here and um, I made a little gap that match up with this part. I made it out of a nut, but maybe you can take something else. More important, bearing, flange bearing, that you can put it here and put the flange on. Maybe you don't need it out of aluminum. And then we line it. To screw it on, I got flat bolts and we put them in from the inside. Now we got our fly disc, I call it for now. And our nut. When it's aligned, we have to put in a little keyway. I made uh, my own out of a um, normal washer but of course you can if you got took a real one to put it in took a pair of um, pliers at first i built up the blade out of high speed steel and then i just took a normal kitchen bread knife and it's much better because it's thinner and not so thick and works pretty fine. If you want to make this bend, just took something like a little kitchen torch, heat it up until it's glowing. When it's glowing and you got it in the white, just bend it and that's it. That's cool with air, not with water. And don't overheat it. Just wait until it's glowing and finish the job. So we take our blade. Put it in. And I got a shortened washer to get pressure down. And a headed nut. You can of course take a normal but headed is better cause no um, chunks coming between. To tighten it up we need something really long for the uh, nut but um, yeah do it yourself or maybe you got something like that put it in counter it and 
and tighten it up. That's the basic assembly. Everything else you can make it like you want, I would say. So what we got here are these rubber things and they are there because you got a lot of vibration and they are quite stable from the point of going away but still got a little bit of flex and you can put now in your angle grinder give it a slight turn If you just want to have a blender, you don't need something cut out, just took your pot and finish. And maybe you also need nothing like that, just put something under it and you are finished. But I also want to have the ability to shredder something to a special size and so I constructed this road. So we and bolt it on. Take our sieve Push it in And now we can decide how big the chunks that are coming out At the moment I constructed that because I want to have the ability to shake it over to clean it and to stop it from over falling, I got a knob here, here, and a screw flattened on the bottom. So we push it in. And finish. Oh no, wait! My little worker should make a maker's hustle sign for our mixer, for our blender. But what he do is that, and I don't know what you think. Hmm. But it got a little maker hustle sign, so it's fine. If you want to shred something uh, like apples, uh, wet material, sometimes a little drop uh, of water comes through the system, through the bearing, because it's just a bearing and nothing else. Um, to get rid of this drop and not getting it into your grinder, uh, I have designed a little flying disc. And if a drop comes down on it, it got thrown away pretty fast, so you get rid of it. If you don't want to have it all over the place, you may also want to have something like that. Um, I think the best would be to have it around the whole from 
construction. So uh, maybe in your construction, you plan it from beginning. our shredded stuff and like you see it's shredded really good so we take something to melt it in it's all can uh, you can also go on baking paper there are a lot of videos outside but I will show you how to make a cylinder and uh, for the lace Just 